Okay, some interesting developments with the C virus um, vaccine. So you can find it on a, many different news channels right now. Some of them you have to be uh, have a subscription to view. So I'm not going to try to read one of those, but this is the Canadian press. And let's see. Um, anyway, <clears throat> this was posted today at nine o'clock. Um, AstraZeneca C vaccine study paused after one illness, but I'll read another thing in a moment that said that this is the second time this has happened. Okay, late stage studies of AZ C19 vaccine candidate are on temporary hold while the company investigates whether a recipient's potentially unexplained illness is a side effect of the shot. In a statement issued today, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Tuesday evening, the company said it is its standard review process triggered a pause to vaccination to allow review of safety data. AZ didn't reveal any information about the possible side effect except to call it a potentially unexplained illness. The health news site STAT first reported the pause in testing, saying the possible side effect occurred in the UK. An AZ spokesperson confirmed the pause in vaccination cover studies in the US and other countries. Late last month, AZ began recruiting 30,000 people in the US for its largest study of the vaccine. It also is testing the vaccine developed by Oxford University and thousands of people in Britain and in smaller studies in Brazil and South Africa. Two other vaccines are in huge final stage tests in the US, one made by Moderna Inc. and the other by Pfizer and Germany's BioNTech. Those two vaccines work differently than AZs and the studies already have recruited about two thirds of the needed volunteers. Temporary holds of large medical studies aren't unusual <clears throat> and investigating any serious or unexpected reaction is a mandatory part of safety testing. AZ pointed out that it's possible the problem could be a coincidence, illnesses of all sorts could arise in studies of thousands of people. We are working to expedite the review of this single event to minimize any potential impact on the trial timeline. It's likely the unexplained illness was serious enough to require hospitalized hospitalization and not a mild side effect such as fever or muscle pain. Um, okay, this is not something to be alarmed about, Fuller said. Instead, it's reassuring that the company is pausing the study to figure out what's happening and carefully monitoring the health of study participants. Dr. Ash Ashish Ija of Brown University said via Twitter that the significance of the interruption was unclear, but that he was still optimistic that an effective vaccine will be found in the coming months. But optimism isn't evidence, he wrote. Let's let science drive this process. Angela Rasmussen, a virologist at Columbia University in New York, tweeted that the illness may be unrelated to the vaccine, but the important part is that this is why we do trials before rolling out a vaccine to the general public. During the third and final stage of testing, researchers look for any signs or possible side effects that may have gone undetected in earlier patient research. Because of the large size, the studies are considered the most important study phase for picking up less common side effects and establishing safety. The trials also assess effectiveness by tracking who gets sick and who doesn't between patients getting the vaccine and those receiving a dummy shot. The development came the same day that AZ and other and eight other drug makers issued an unusual pledge vowing to uphold the highest ethical and scientific standards in developing their vaccines. The announcement follows worries that President Trump will pressure the US Food and Drug Administration to approve a vaccine before it's proven to be safe and effective. The US has invested billions of dollars in efforts to quickly develop multiple vaccines against C-19 but public fears that a vaccine is unsafe or ineffective could be disastrous, derailing the effort to vaccinate millions of Americans. Even when they're tested and they've been out for years and years, they're not always safe. <laughs> Representatives for the FDA did not immediately respond to requests for comment Tuesday. Okay, so here's another. The CBS News has the same thing going on, talking about this one participant was a UK resident resident 
right here, AZ C19 vaccine study put on hold due to suspected adverse reaction in participant in the UK. Okay, but then here's a um, here's uh, C C virus briefing. What happened today? A vaccine front runner hits the brakes. So this is by New York Times. Um, Lara Takenaga. <clears throat> This is the coronavirus, oh, I said the word, briefing, an informed guide to the global outbreak. Okay. So in a taped interview, Trump admitted that he intentionally played, okay. Anyways, here, AZ yesterday paused late stage trials for its C virus vaccine because of a suspected adverse reaction in a participant. Now it will investigate whether the vaccine caused the illness, which several people familiar with the situation said was traverse myelitis, an inflammation of the spinal cord that is often prompted by viral infection. So here's, here's what we, this is the illness that it caused. So, which required hospitalization, but it's transverse myelitis, an inflammation of the spinal cord that is often prompted by viral infection. This is the second time, so see, it's not the first time, that AZ, which is developing its vaccine with University of Oxford, has put its trials on hold. Another participant developed symptoms of traverse, transverse myelitis researchers reported in July, but it was later attributed to an unrelated neurological illness. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> now there's two. So now it may not, be, that first one may have not been random, right? So that's why they're pausing it again. AZ, AZ's vaccine has garnered attention as one of the most promising and advanced candidates. To understand what the pause may mean in the race for vaccine, we spoke to a Wu, a science reporter. Okay. Um, so basically, it says, she talks about what it is and how many people are in the trial. And they're still hoping to roll it out something early next year. So now she's saying early next year, which I'm not going to get it anyway, no matter when it is. Um, that could still be possible. It really depends on what other data emerges with the phase three trials. But this hold takes a while to investigate. It could be longer than that. So it's not clear at this point. They're not sure. So. Anyway, I think that's the end of it. So I'll leave a link to these articles and you could read them for yourself. I just wanted to let you know that this is the latest news about what's going on with the vaccine so far.